Hi guys, welcome to our uh, next lesson, which is about Rule 14, Head-On Situation. So, uh, this is our next lesson, next to the Rule 11 and 12, then 13, we already discussed about the 11 and 12, which is your, uh, the 12 is sailing vessels, and the 13 is your overtaking vessels. Now, Rule 14 is about Head-On Situation. Now, we will uh, discuss this one. This topic is actually a little bit shorter compared to the other rules. No? So, with regards to the Rule 14, uh, to easily remember what is the, the title of the Rule 14, you just actually need to imagine that the 4 is like the arrowhead and that's the, kumbaga, you need to imagine that it's the head of the arrow and then it represents the head-on situation wherein two ships are in reciprocal courses and then they will. Uh, there is a risk of collision. Now, when we say head-on situation, when two power-driven vessels are meeting on or nearly reciprocal courses. So this means that their course, for example, if this ship goes to the north or let's say uh, her course is 0, 0, 0 degrees to north then this one is receptacle which is 180 degrees that is to the south no so for example uh, these ships will go um tutuloy -tuloy siya, then there is a risk of collision and this situation is called head on situation we're in when we say head on situation uh, they are on receptacle or near the receptacle courses no and as time goes by, pag nagtuloy-tuloy itong dalawang barko na to, there is a risk of collision. No? So, uh, what is according sa, anong sinasabi sa rule natin, sa rule 14? Now, as I said, when two power-driven vessels, according dito, uh, are meeting on receptacle or nearly receptacle courses, which one, uh, this uh, phrase actually describes what is a head-on situation. No? So, each shall alter her course to the starboard side. So, ang sabi daw dito, when two vessels are meeting each other, and then uh, for them to avoid collision, no? so they have to both, both of them will alter course to the starboard side. So, this one. Liliko siya dito, yung itong barko, liliko, liliko siya dito, and then this ship, liliko siya on her starboard side. Take note that uh, she will alter course on her starboard side. This is the port side. This is the starboard side. On this ship, dahil papunta siya sa south, so with regards to the orientation ng ship natin, the ship's uh, starboard side is on this side and the port side is here. So they will both daw alter course to the starboard side. And if you notice, they will pass clear to each other. Kasi, uh, for example, if you'll be meeting automatically, uh, ang magiging intention nyo should be dapat you will both alter course to the starboard side and it should be understandable na na yun yung gagawin nyo so that uh, it will not create any dangerous situation kasi take note if one of the vessel will alter course to the port side no? so what will happen here is that pagliko nyo dito ang tendency mag mag magbabanggaan sila no uh According here sa ating rule, uh, when two power-driven vessels are meeting on a reciprocal course, so as to involve risk of collision, each shall alter her course to the starboard, so each shall pass on the port side of the other. Now take note, each shall pass on the port side of the other. They will alter course to the starboard side, and then magpapas sila sa port side ng each other. This one. Yan ang sinasabi nila na red to red. O, oh, kabayan, red to red tayo. Hindi sabihin na mag red to red kayo, liliko kayo on the starboard side so that your red lights, kasi di ba, on our navigational lights, you have your uh, green, which is your starboard side, and the red light, which is your port side. So this, ang mangyayari dito, uh, when both of you alter, alter your courses to the starboard side, your red lights ang magiging visible sa inyo. So, yan ang tinatawag nilang port-to-port or red-to-red. No? So, magiging, dapat yan yung magiging automatic natin na, na move 
whenever there is a head-on situation. So, port to port, no? But you will alter course, alter course to the starboard side, wherein your port, uh, port side of your vessel and the port side of that vessel will face, no, each other. And you will come past safe naman and go back and return to your courses. So that's what uh, will happen to your head-on situation. According to the Rule 14 also, each situation shall be deemed to exist when a vessel sees the other ahead or nearly ahead and by night she could see the mast headlights of the other in a, li in a line or nearly in a line or both side lights and by day she observes and cars she observes the corresponding aspect of the other vessel. Now, as you can see, this one, ang nakikita natin na side is port side of the ship. No? On the other side is the starboard side. Ito ang makikita mo if you will alter course to the starboard side seeing the port side of the other vessel. And take note, this one is your mast headlight natin. Forward mast headlight natin to. And then your aft mast headlight is located above the bridge. So, what will happen if... Uh, that that ship is directly in front of you. Ang magiging view mo is this one. No, at night. And, syempre, kung uh, daytime, ito yung magiging view mo. Now, to give you a, uh, ano, an overview, yung etong lower light will be your aft mast headlight, yung dito located. And this higher light, white light, is located sa aft mast headlight natin dito, above the bridge. No, so, ito siya. So, when, whenever na nakaharap yung barko sa'yo, ito yung magiging light na ipapakita niya. At the same time, pag walang light, of course, during the daytime, this aspect ang makikita natin. This one, of course, you will not see, uh, this is not uh, a head or this is not a head-on situation with you, of course, sa ganitong aspect. Kasi yung nakikita natin aspect dito is the starboard side aspect. Now, what happens here to your side lights? Ang side lights natin, ang red should be on the other side and the green light will be on this side. So, ang nakikita natin na light, if this aspect will be green light. No? And hindi natin makikita yung red light kasi it's on the other side. So, same also this one. Pag nakaharap sa sayo, ang nakikita natin light dito is green and on the other side is red light. So, according sa rules natin, also uh, paragraph C, when a vessel is in any doubt as to whether such a situation exists, she shall assume that it does exist and act accordingly. So if you are in doubt, if that situation, if in that situation, merong head-on situation, you need to uh, assume that there is a head-on situation. No? And uh, so that this one will prevent na, kumbaga, Doubt na nga siya, tapos at the end pala, totoo pala yung doubt na there is a head-on situation. So, as early as possible, kahit hindi siya head-on situation and you are in doubt if it is head-on situation, at least, no, uh, we uh, prevented the collision to happen and we had taken action as a lookout and as an officer on board the ship. So, again, for any concerns, you may email me for your clarifications. You can send also private message on your M rooms and... Uh, message me on the messenger. I'll see you on the next uh, video for our crossing situation, Rule 15. Thank you very much.